Hey guys, welcome to Technability. Happy Saturday. Uh, we're going to be doing an app review today. Actually, a launcher review, as a matter of fact, of uh, Yandex Shell Launcher Plus Dialer. This is a free launcher in the App Store. Um, it's no ads, none of that whatsoever. It's a very unique launcher, and I'll go ahead and get into that in a minute. Um, now, just to let you know what I'm running this on top of, I'm running it on top of uh, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with Sense 5. So uh, I just went ahead and installed this launcher right now. So this is my first time using it along with uh, you guys on this video. So bear with me. We're going to just go through the features here. So I've heard a lot of things about this launcher in recent days. Um, I'm guessing that if you pinch zoom, you get this nice little 3D effect here, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of a carousel 3D effect. Um, really just really nice looking. Um, the UI and the uh, overall... Uh, imagery of it is really nice. It's got like card feet. It looks similar to cards. Remember the web OS cards that you get uh, in a carousel form. You can see right there I can uh, um, mess around with it with the uh, and then I can just go ahead and flip it around and whatnot. And then I'm guessing if I push these three little buttons right here, this little card, if I push this button, um, let me try that again. All right, so I have other cards that I could basically add to my home screen or remove from my home screen. So I could take this and put it here and then um, replace that with this. And I can go ahead and put this little uh, post-it screen. I can go ahead and put the calculator screen. Hey, you know what? I want to remove. Um, well, let's not remove anything. Let's look at everything for now. Weather. Look at that. Look how many screens I have. All right, so now we're going to go back. Okay, now we're going to go back again. You can see nice little animations, and here's all of our screens. We got Flickr right here, okay, and again, if you don't like this, you could just take the widget and flip it up. It's gone. Push that little X. Goodbye. Push back, okay. You got this uh, World News uh, widget right here, which is similar to BlinkFeed, I suppose. When you click on it, it takes you to a, a article, and then you can open that article in the browser, or you can share it uh, via um, Android's multiple sharing options. Um, then obviously you have weather widget, um, nothing happens when I click on it, it, it just gives me uh, the different weather for the various different days of the week, um, which is a ni nice little animation on this weather, um, very HTC-esque in terms of that animation with HTC's weather, weather app, so you got the uh, weather widget, then you, of course you got the clock widget, I'm assuming if you click on that, oh look, look at that, you could change the skin, which is really cool, very customizable, launcher seems very customizable from the get-go. Nice animations. I just clicked on um, first lunar day. Set alarms. It'll take you directly to the uh, alarm app that that you get with the phone. Uh, in this case, it's HTC Sense alarm app. All right, we got calendar right here. Um, if you click on the calendar, it's going to take you to the uh, stock calendar app. Uh, we got a calculator, which HTC also has a calculator with Sense, but uh, it's nice, nice looking calculator. Meshes in well with the overall consistency of this uh, launcher. Uh, of course, you have shortcuts and whatnot. These are really just nice looking, um, really nice looking shortcuts. Uh, look at that. that. That's just really cool. I don't know if you guys saw what, what happened there. But uh, you get various multiple world clocks. And um, let me just show you guys that again. If you click here, it takes you to the world clocks. And if you, uh, you just go ahead and set that up to whatever location you like. You have the toggles, brightness. Um, uh, Wi-Fi toggle, <clears throat> Bluetooth, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, okay, and then if I swipe again, I'm going to get my uh, home screen, default home screen, and this is just basically where my apps are. Now, you can't create folders right off the bat. Like, I can't drag an icon into another icon, create a folder. As a matter of fact, I can't drag an icon into another location. It'll just drag it right back to where it was. So uh, that's, I guess, one of the drawbacks. Not really much of a drawback because, you know, overall, it's a really nice-looking launcher. So... Uh, I'm sure there's a way to create folders, and we'll figure that out right now. If I click on this right here, as you can see, it doesn't take me to a separate app. It actually just a kind of a, a very iOS where, you know, the, the home screen kind of goes into the background, and then you get to search whatever you'd like. Hey, and then, you know, all this stuff comes up. And if I click on something, it'll take me to the browser of my choice. Of course, you have the clock. Again, it takes you to the clock uh, app. Weather, it'll take you to the weather app, which is really nice looking weather app okay all right so again swiping to the uh, right and then if you keep swiping it'll just kind of uh continue on with the screen it's scroll uh, uh, infinite scrolling look at that how nice that looks 
Um, but there's a lot of options to customize this as you wish. Um, and we can go into settings here if I could find them. Settings. Okay, here's all of the settings. Obviously, you can click on system settings. And then the shell settings, you can go to general. Appearance, you can uh, customize the various appearances of it. You can change the theme. Uh, use the carousel, yes, no. Uh, wallpapers. Uh, let's see what wallpapers the index comes with. Okay, like a little wood wallpaper. Obviously, the rest of the wallpapers that you have installed. Dialer, uh, very customizable for the dialer, which we're going to check out right now. Experimental settings, um, which I guess allows you to mess with various uh, core features of Yandex shell. Oh, there's the dialer. Look at that. So this is the dialer that comes with it. Okay, so if we go to keypad, it's a nice dialer. No doubt about it. I like this dialer. I like the big buttons. Oversense, which has kind of smaller buttons, but uh, that's really cool. And it asks you use the index dialer as default, yes or no. Uh, if you go to contacts, you got your contacts here again, very consistent with the UI overall around the uh, uh, entire launcher. And again, if I just kind of click on this, uh, if I click on this right here, I get the little carousel. I really like this carousel, and if I pinch, I get the carousel, so I can do it manually with my with the flick of my finger. And if I click right here, I can remove or add screens. And again, if I take these screens and I just kind of move them around, I can even move them around here. You know, I can kind of just move them around all over the place. It's a very smooth, uh, very, very smooth looking launcher. Um, it gives Android definitely like this different feel, so to speak. See if I go back, I go back again me to the home screen so it's very fast it's clean it's uh it's got a nice it's got a nice ui um overall ui consistency it's uh consistent across the board in terms of the launcher being the i mean the dialer being the way it is and then you know obviously um you get that little carousel effect here and um you know i i'm still trying to figure out how to create folders so if i just hold down on the, the uh, home screen i guess i can add so if I add right here I can add apps I can add the various widgets you can see all the widgets that it comes with ah oh, there's a folder right there oh, okay, let's try that again alright so if I go back to widgets you can add folder alright and then let's see what else you can add panels okay so these are like the larger widgets basically they call them panels these are the Android widgets that you get stock with the phone and you get little um, you get little toggles here. You got all sorts of little nice widgets that comes with this uh, launcher. So we got a folder here. So let's just go ahead and see if we could drag things into the folder. Yep. So as you can see, I can drag icons into the folder. And then I can name the folder as I please. So it allows you to automatically name it. I guess it, it has a smart detection of the apps that you're putting in there and automatically names it. But let's just go ahead and name this apps. Push OK. Go back. There's your folder right there. Okay. Um, it opens apps pretty quickly. Really quite immediate. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.